Today we are going to discuss the effect of resistance to Venus return on the Venus return curve. As we have discussed in our last lecture that when the blood is basically returning to the heart, when blood is returning to the heart, suppose for example this is the heart, it is pumping the blood it is pumping the blood into the periphery and from the periphery the blood is returning to the heart. Now the pressure which is trying to push or which is uh, trying to bring the blood towards the heart is the mean systemic failing pressure. Mean systemic failing pressure. And there is resistance in the veins and the arteries which is basically trying to stop or which is trying to decrease the, the, the returning blood to, to the heart. So it is trying to stop or decrease the amount of blood that is returning to the heart. That is basically known as the resistance to venous return. Now how the increasing and decreasing level of the resistance, how the increasing and decreasing level of resistance has the effect on venous return curve. We see in that uh, this red color curve is the normal venous return curve. This normal curve, this normal venous return curve shows that at a normal right atrial pressure of 0 millimeter of mercury, at a normal right atrial pressure of 0 millimeter of mercury, the venous return, the venous return, this is basically the venous return. Here we have the right atrial pressure. So, at the normal right atrial pressure of around 0 mm of mercury, the venous return liters per minute is around 5. So, the normal venous return at this point is around 5. Maybe slightly more or less than 5, but it is almost 5 at this level. At this level. Now, is the right atrial pressure starts increasing? As the right atrial pressure starts increasing, we see that there is a decrease in the venous return. This venous return starts decreasing and when the right atrial pressure reaches the level of 7 millimeter of mercury, 7 millimeter of mercury, the venous return has touched the zero point. Like there is no venous return. It is because the mean systemic filling pressure is also around 7 mm of mercury. So the 7 mm of mercury is basically pushing the blood towards the heart. And if the pressure here at the right atrium also increases from 0 to 7, so this, this pressure, this 7 mm of mercury mil, mean systemic filling pressure won't be able to overcome this pressure in the right atrium. So ultimately the, the venous return decreases to zero at the level of around 7 millimeter of mercury right atrial pressure. Now what happens if we, we discussed that there is some sort of resistance in the veins and some resistance in the arteries and arterioles which is also trying to stop the flow of blood towards the heart. And that is something which we have discussed in detail in our last lecture. What will happen if the amount of that resistance, the amount of that resistance which is basically trying to stop or decrease the flow of blood toward the heart, if that resistance increase or decrease, what will happen to the venous return? So here we see that if the, if the level of resistance is decreased, if the level of resistance is decreased to around one and a half, if from, for example, from the resistance of 10, it is decreased to around resistance of five, then the, re the resistance is almost half. The venous resistance to venous return has decreased to around half. Now we see that even at normal right atrial pressure, even at normal right atrial pressure, Instead of this 5 liters per minute, we have the venous return at this point of around 12 or 13. So, even at normal right atrial pressure, if the resistance 
if the resistance to venous return is decreased to around one and a half suppose for example the the resistance the force which is basically trying to stop the blood flow towards the heart if it is decreased that force is decreased that resistance is decreased to around one and a half the blood returning towards the heart will double or it will mo be more than double so we see that even at the normal right atrial pressure the pressure at this point has not changed it has remained zero but the return the blood that is returning to the heart has increased from this level from this level to this level now what will happen to the venous return if the resistance is doubled for example the resistance is doubled from 10 towards 20 or it is doubled now if the resistance is doubled as it is shown with the green color graph we see that even at the normal right atrial pressure even at the normal right atrial pressure the resistance has been increased now more uh, more uh, forces or more resistance is trying to stop the amount of blood or the movement of blood from the periphery towards the heart so at normal right atrial pressure level the the, the venous return the venous return will decrease it will decrease to this point so normally we had around 5 liters per minute venous return at normal right atrial pressure when we decrease the resistance to one and a half then the venous return jumps or the amount of blood that is returning to the heart from the periphery is doubled or more than doubled but if the resistance is increased then the amount of blood that is returning to the heart is decreased so this is not only at normal right atrial pressure at every level of the right atrial pressure at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 at every level at every level of the right atrial pressure if the resistance is low the venous return will be high if the resistance if the resistance is high the venous return will be low if the resistance is low venous return will be high at every level of the right atrial pressure but this red color is showing the normal venous return curve in which the right atrial pressure is zero or normal similarly the, the resistance to venous return is normal so if we see the effect of resistance to venous return on the venous return curve we see that if the resistance is decreased the venous returns jumps and the, 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 the amount of blood that returns to the heart is increased if the resistance is doubled if the resistance is doubled then the, the, the amount of blood or the venous return decreases or it rotates this graph basically rotates downward so that's all about the effect of resistance to venous return on venous return curve